Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. Sorry for being a little late this morning. Computers sometimes decide to update software without telling you. So it's Monday the 18th of May. Hope you slept well last night and trust that uh, you are refreshed for the day ahead. So as uh, we gather together this morning, let me invite you to bow your heads with me and to pray and to remember the presence of the Lord with us now. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are those who make the Lord their trust, who do not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after false gods. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. Were I to proclaim and tell of them, they would be more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire. But you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, here I am. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the good news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips as you know, O oh Lord. I have not hidden your saving help within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Do not, O Lord, withhold your mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For evils have encompassed me without number. My iniquities have overtaken me until I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let all those be put to shame and confusion who seek to snatch away my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonour who desire my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha, aha. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay. Oh, my God. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. Oh, God, as we remember days gone by and as we think about all that you have done for us, our souls thirst for you and we lift our hands to you in prayer. Answer us now, oh Lord. Don't hide yourself from us. Remind us this morning of your constant love, for we put our trust in you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you continually reveal your truth to us. Our privilege is the measure of our responsibility to share your good news with the world. When all too easily we receive from you and neglect to tell others of your coming to give eternal life. Lord, forgive us. When we receive your gracious gifts and clutch them to ourselves and forget to share them with others, Lord, forgive us. When we know your guidance, but trust in our own desires and selfish opinions, Lord, forgive us. When by our own choice, we walk in spiritual darkness and do not recognize your nearness, Lord, forgive us. Lord, you alone can dispel our darkness. Help us to worship you, to come into the fullness of your light and to confess our sins fully now. May Almighty God forgive us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, give us time to amend our lives and bring us the grace and the comfort 
of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So in our morning prayer, we are reading through Psalm 119. This morning we read from verse 9 to 16. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Thanks be to God for his word. At the end of the passage that we've read together, it says, I will not forget your word. I don't know about you, but occasionally I struggle with my memory. I'm prone to forgetfulness. And too often that forgetfulness comes from having too much uh, information in my mind and not paying enough attention or prioritizing those things that are really important. can be people who information overload but it's true that we remember what's important to us and so often forgetfulness if we're not careful can be a warning sign of missed priorities or misplaced priorities what priority are you giving to remembering the things that god is telling you that he's teaching you, that he's encouraging you about, maybe sometimes rebuking you about, to make a, a list sometimes of the th jobs that you need to do can be helpful. Why not also make a list of the things that you think God is saying to you that you need to do and you need to prioritize in your life? And in that way, your obedience will be encouraged let's pray together today we remember in particular the church in india especially for its leaders that they will stay strong and united in the face of the challenges before them Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for millions of silent people today, the homeless, the refugees, forced to live in tents or shacks, often in camps herded together. We pray for people whose harvest has failed for years, who must listen to the sobs of children with daily hunger pains. Strengthen every missionary, every church organization, every national fund seeking to help the forgotten millions and show us how we can best love our neighbors in need lord in your mercy hear our prayer we now bring to the lord our own intercessions and intentions in a moment of quiet prayer Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer in whatever language or form is common to us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 
The Lord be within you to strengthen you, around you to ward off your spiritual foes on every side, under you to hold you up along the way, behind you to guard you from the assaults of the past, and before you to lead you on. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, you and remain with you, with those whom you love, with God's people everywhere, this day and forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you today. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. I trust that you feel uh, closer to the Lord now and better prepared for the day ahead. Uh, please continue to pray for one another. Please continue to pray for me. May the Lord bless you. I look forward to seeing you tonight at 9 p.m. when we begin a new series of readings from uh, the first letter of the Apostle John. God bless you. Goodbye.